and this is Thrift Flip. Today is the first in a three-part series about how to take better pictures to bring in those sales in your Poshmark closet. Now, if you want to catch parts two and three, be sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit the little bell to get notified when the next video posts. Today's video, part one, is going to talk about my five essential tools that I use to take professional quality pictures for my Poshmark closet. I have some good experience with product photography because before I ran my Poshmark closet, I did run a successful online business for four years where I was doing product photography on my own. So I have a lot of experience when it comes to this subject. Now, I do have my five essential tools, and I'm going to go ahead and jump into those right now. Number one on the list is my camera. When it came to deciding whether or not to take my pictures with my phone or my camera on my Poshmark closet, it was really a no-brainer for me because my phone in particular is not the most expensive phone and I just don't have a great camera on my phone. It doesn't catch the details, it looks a little fuzzy, and I just don't love the pictures. So when it came to choosing, I definitely recommend using a DSLR. A DSLR camera can be a little bit complicated to learn, but once you do, the picture quality you get is unmatched with any other camera out there on the market. They do have a removable lens, and so I prefer to shoot um, with this 18 by 55 millimeter lens because it gives me a good range of motion for uh, my catching my subject, my piece of clothing, all of the little details, and it has a great color clarity so that the color that you're actually seeing on the screen really matches well with the color that the piece actually is in person. Now, um, I use a Nikon camera and I'm going to go ahead and link my camera down below in the description so you can take a look at it for yourself and see what the specifications are and kind of just take a peek at what I actually use. So this is essential tool number one, my DSLR camera. Continuing on the list, number two for the most essential product to get the best professional quality pictures for your Poshmark closet. Lighting. So I know that a lot of people focus on the camera and how important that is, and it is really important, but honestly, lighting will make or break your picture like by far. So you don't want to be using an overhead light in your house, you don't want to be using the flash on your camera or your cell phone, like those are huge no-nos when it comes to photography. We will talk about that stuff more in video too. But for now, lighting is essential. And for me, I use a light kit. Uh, I use this, it's just kind of comes on a stand and it has an umbrella that attaches to the front to help diffuse the light. The great thing about using a light kit is that you can do your photography any time of the day. So if I, the, the mood strikes me to do tackle my huge pile of clothing that I have to photograph at seven o'clock at night, it doesn't matter that there's no natural light outside because I'm able to use my light kit and get the same even lighting throughout all of my pictures. This also makes my closet look really consistent because my lighting and the settings I use to edit my pictures, which we'll talk more about in video three, um, are always the same. So my pictures are always consistent no matter what day, no matter if I take my pictures today and then I do another set of pictures in three months, they'll look exactly the same in terms of their lighting. There's not some that are darker or lighter than others. So lighting is number two on my list of most essential tools talk about number three, which is backgrounds. The background is super important to your pictures because you don't want it to distract from the item that you're trying to sell, but at the same time, you do want it to have a little bit of interest to it. A white background is simple. Everybody uses white backgrounds, but if you want to stand out a little bit, you can get a little bit creative. You just want to be sure that you're not using like a brightly colored background. Stick with neutrals, whites, new natural woods, grays, 
um, browns like a craft paper kind of a brown situation things like that that aren't going to distract from your product that you're selling you also don't want to use necessarily things with a lot of pattern on them or your carpet um, you know be, be aware of the background when it comes to laying out your product because you want nothing to be distracting from what you're trying to sell I personally went to the dollar store and I found a trifold display board. Now the great thing about this is it has three parts to it and one of the sides and the middle equals a perfect square. So it gives me a good idea of how to lay out my um, items so that they fit within that square requirement that Poshmark has. I also went to Hobby Lobby and I found a mat, which means it's not shiny, a paper, a roll of paper. It was about $10 and then I used a coupon, of course, and it's just this white kind of washed out wood. So I use that as my background because I like that it has a natural feel to it, which is something I'm trying to go for with my branding. And I also like that it has, uh, it has some interest to it. It's not just a flat, plain color. And so that is what I use for my pictures and we will get into how I use that more in video number two, but that is what I use for my background. Now when I have a longer piece of clothing to fo um, photograph, like a maxi dress or a pair of jeans, I do not use the cardboard, um, the trifold cardboard. I just take the roll, the remaining roll of this paper, and I roll it out on my floor and I lay everything out on that. And then I crop the picture later, which I'll talk about more in video number three. But for now, this is what I use for my background. Let's move on to number my four. number four tool. It's one that I've had a lot of fun with, just playing with and experimenting. And I think I've finally settled on the combination that I'm really happy with. And I feel like matches the aesthetic of my closet. So this is a place where you can really get creative and have a lot of fun and kind of use it as an opportunity to brand your closet, brand your pictures, so that when your customers see and are scrolling through you know, the search results or whatever, they come across your picture, they, they know that it comes from your closet. And so that is the props that I use in my picture. Sure, I have my background and sure, I have my piece of clothing, but I want my pictures to have a little bit of interest in them. I want them to stand out from the crowd. And I also want them to be something that, like I said, can brand my closet that people will recognize. So I personally use two things in my pictures. I use this uh, wooden, it's kind of like a wicker material. It's actually a plate charger I got at Cost Plus World Market. It's a dark stained um, wood and because it's got this pretty braided pattern but it is a natural fiber i feel like it really fits in with kind of the boho you know yoga kind of feel that i'm going for with my closet so i wanted to be sure to use natural fibers and plants and things in my pictures and this i think really fits the bill i do i will show you how i actually use this in my setup in video number two but this is prop number the first prop that i use the second prop that i use is I use this um, a bunch of greens. These are eucalyptus and there are some other greens that I'm not sure of the name of. And I just buy this little, um, they are fresh so I don't use fake ones. I just don't feel like they look the same. Uh, and I just buy these at my local grocery store and I take a couple of stalks out and I go ahead and just put them in. And I'll show you again in video two where we talk about how I actually do my pictures and I walk you through my setup and all of that. Um, I will show you how I actually use these in my photos. But for now, we'll just leave it at that. I do use props to make my pictures stand out. Let's move on to number five, the final item in my list. My very last tool that's essential to get professional quality pictures for your closet is a video editing software. Now I use Lightroom personally, which is an Adobe product. There are Lightroom and then there are Photoshop and then there are free products. I prefer Lightroom because it gives me all the tools that I need and 
it has the ability to color correct, to adjust for white balance, and all sorts of technical things like that that we'll get into in video number three. Now, I'm going to go ahead and link um, the subscription that I use below in the video description so that you can check it out for yourself. But I would recommend Lightroom when it comes to editing your pictures. They'll give you the most professional quality that you can possibly get. That's what professionals use. So that's a tool that you'll definitely want to invest in for your picture quality and Poshmark Closet. Now that we have gone over the top five tools that I use and find essential to getting professional quality pictures from my Poshmark Closet, it's time to move on and put these things into action. Do some research, figure out you know, if the tools I use are tools that you want to use for your closet. But also, if you have any questions, please let me know by leaving a comment below. If you're excited like me for video number two and video number three, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and be sure to ring the bell so you get notified when the next video goes live. If you want to shop my closet, you can find me at namasbabe.com. You can also find me on Instagram at namas.babe. As always, namaste to you and thanks for watching. Bye.